So I'm headed to my Airbnb tonight. It's called the Butterfly Eco Park. And it is in a place in Belize called San Pedro, Colombia. Not the out island San Pedro, but San Pedro, Colombia in the far south. Just inland from Punta Gorda a bit, not like 20, 30 minutes inland from there. And um, I just wanted to get a, a glimpse of this beautiful road and the mountains, jungle mountains in the background. It's just so pretty. So we'll take, I'll show you a glimpse of the way to my Airbnb tonight here, San Pedro, Colombia, the far south of Belize. or maybe close to walking, being walking distance, uh, is what I read in the review anyway, I don't know, we'll see. Alright, I'm just going to take this for 
four kilometers. It's a, about five minutes from here. Some burning going on up here. They burn a lot of the, I guess, dense jungle areas in their property sometimes, I guess, to probably easier than trying to machete at all. I guess it's a controlled burn or whatever. right by the runes um, so I'm looking forward to being able to maybe just walk to the runes like I mentioned community out here, San Pedro, Columbia community. This isn't like three minutes away, but that means about six because GPS is not taking account that it's a gravel road with a lot of potholes. So that's what I've been finding. Your GPS might give a certain uh, time, but just double it because it's not accounting for um, dirt roads you have to go slower on or like potholes and speed bumps.
Olivia said it was only going to take me, well, that from the Butterfly Farm where I'm staying tonight to Cutugorda, it was only 15 minutes. Well, yeah, if it was the roads you could take at a normal, you know, average speed, but you can't. So it actually is around more like 30 minutes. So, like I said, about double. Oh, uh, it still reminds me of Oregon. a really pretty homestead right here. How gorgeous this is this is just gorgeous view almost to the eco butterfly park where I, my Airbnb is tonight Wow so beautiful is on a tether. Colombiana Bar and Restaurant. Hmm. Okay, let me look at my GPS. Oh yeah, I still got a bit before. 
for it need to turn. Oh, There's a bus stop there. That's good to know. Just if I ever came out here, or for my viewers that uh, don't have a rental car. Digi place so you can fill up. Noella's kitchen. as a car seat for safety purposes. Look how pretty. I love these thatch roofs. Oh, he's road. He's terrible. Ah, we're on a little village. This is a cool little, this must be the village of San Pedro, Colombia. It's really cool. Oh, there's the sign that goes to the ruins, but that's not where we turn yet. Luba Anton. These school buses, I think, are like the regular transportation buses. That's what I read online, but they actually could be school buses too. But they use school, old school buses, I think, for the, the regular transportation system. San Pedro Columbia Health Center is on my left. Now we got a little bit of a paved road. It's kind of chipped here and there and potholy. It went from gravel to kind of a paved road. This is a cool little village. I like it. Very chill. Off the beaten path for sure, but I like it. really neat. It's like kind of like up in the hills. I love it. Okay. Which way do I go here? Almost to the... I think I go right. I want to run over some chickens. There's some for baby chickens. Okay. Did I go the right way? Uh-oh. I didn't. I'm off the beaten path. Up. Oh, I need to turn around. 
I'll turn around down this hill. There's some space down there. this way to the right. Let me try here. Yes or no? Okay. I'm lost. So the GPS only took me so far before it, it started screwing me up because there's all these little tiny side roads that go everywhere, that branch off everywhere in this village. And so I had to look at my screenshots of the specific directions. And I also just asked for directions too. So uh, it should be very, very close. But it's just this really beautiful little village up in the hills. I love it. So I'm passing what is called the Columbia River. This is a little river. So cool. Uh, there's someone over swimming over to my left. It's a teeny bit muddy. Really need a four wheel drive out here. If you're renting a car, it's a must in Belize or an all-wheel drive anyway. That's what I have, thank goodness. Well, I knew better because I read the blogs. Okay. I'm going to read my screenshot. It says, um, turn right and cross the Columbia River. The road curves left and you should follow it one or two minutes until you see our sign. Turn right at the sign and proceed five minutes until you see the sign marking my marking our driveway. Okay, the road curves left. A few more minutes and let's see this.
see, I think I see a sign. Butterfly Eco Park. Guess house butterfly, blah, 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 blah. I turn right here, I think. So I'm gonna turn right here. Water slide tours. Nice. Pizza. All the way out here. Turn right of the sign and proceed five minutes until you see the sign marking our driveway. The gate is unlocked in the daytime, so you can open it and come on in. If you approach after the dark, uh, well, they say it's really hard to, to find this place if you approach after dark. There's just no lights or whatever. But I had some lights, so I'm not going to read that part. Um, just going to drive about five minutes till I find their sign. Really now, uh, really a tiny little backcountry road now. Oh gosh, it's just gorgeous. There, I need to get more in the picture here. Left. Oh, it's some views. It's just lush jungly, lush jungle, and like a little bit of a field. I'm sure glad I timed this so I'm not getting here after dark. Let me tell you. swimming holes and just spend the whole day up in these little hills in this village. I think that would make me super happy for tomorrow's itinerary. Okay, I'm coming upon the second Eco Butterfly Park sign. And, uh, let's see. I'm gonna get out and open up the gate so I can get through. It's really cool little butterfly. This and get out and close the gate. Okay, we should be approaching the Eco, Eco Butterfly Park any minute now. Little Luna here, little, my little Luna dog. She's been really such a rock star. 
keep telling her we're almost there, we're almost there. But really now we are almost there, honey. And I can give you a little walk. Yeah. Oh, here it is. So neat. Wow. Yay. Butterfly Cafe. Cute. Okay. Well, I'm going to turn this off and uh, do another video just about the Butterfly, Eco Butterfly Park itself. That's another video. Don't forget to watch. Bye.